Self Belief here, and today I want to be talking a little bit about grading. Now, grading coins is something which I've dipped my toe into a little bit this year, thanks very much to Numistaka, who's been able to organise these group grading submissions uh, to NGC. Uh, and coin grading is an area which I uh, am very interested in, but at the same time, it's not forming kind of a large, you know, part of my stacking goals, my uh, investing strategies. But I like to dip my toe in various different markets to test them out, see how they work for me, and, uh, and look to see if I can add some value to any of the things that I'm looking to buy as investments. So I've got these two coins here in front of us to talk about. Uh, we've got the Antique Dragon from the Perth Mint, which you may well have seen lots of in Numistaka's previous grading uh, unboxings. They were very popular and they did very well in gradings. And then we've got a slightly older coin, $19025, which is, uh, turned out to be an MS62. Now for me, the grading of these two coins are very different reasons. So we've got many different reasons why people might be able to grade coins. Now, if you've never seen a graded or slabbed coin before, really you should probably go and check out Numistaka's channel. He talks a lot about grading coins and there's other YouTubers out there as well who talk about them. So I'm not really going to go in too depth about the process of grading, but basically you get your coin back in a uh, sonically sealed protective slab. The uh, the coin graders have gone over it with a uh, with a microscope basically. Uh, and they've checked it for flaws and they've given it a grade and basically the higher the number the better up to a maximum of 70. Uh, now these two coins represent two very different reasons why I got coins graded in the first place uh, and there are different strategies out there for grading coins and making money off graded coins uh, and a sort of good example of that might well be this this type of coin that you would grade so the PF70 uh, 2 blue antique dragon is a great result for this coin uh, and you know its listed price out of the mint was um, I can't remember exactly, but I think it was about 100, 120 pounds here in the UK. Uh, getting it graded probably cost about 30 pounds. So now you're looking at this coin uh, net cost to you of about 150 pounds, and then you would hope that because it's graded, it becomes a collector's item. You know there are people out there who exclusively only collect graded coins in perfect condition, and you would hope that a collector would pay potentially more than the 150 pounds that you've paid to grade it. So that's kind of the theory with that, you know, there are a lot of people that might want to try and flip these immediately to get, um, you know, their, their money back straight away and their profit, short term profit, and that's fine and that's good. And that's, you know, part of the reason maybe why I got this graded. I've got two of these, one that's ungraded uh, and this one. And, you know, if, if the right opportunity came along whereby I could sell this coin at a decent profit, which would essentially make the other one very cheap or at least you know, bullion spot value, then I've kind of won out in the long run, in my opinion. So that's kind of why I got this one graded. It's also really good to get it preserved. I mean, pr preservation is really important, I think, for these coins. You know, it's it's a really nice coin. It could easily get damaged if you drop it. Uh, so to have it in a slab is, again, a really good thing to get it graded. But, you know, having it short-term flipper, modern bullion coins, it's a very big market. It's not something I really know a lot about, but at the same time, it seems to be quite a popular market for people to make some money on a, on a fast flip. Now on the other side of the coin, we have, on the side of the coin, that's a bit of a pun, no pun intended. Uh, on the other side, we have the older stuff to get graded. Now this is an MS62. Uh, when I bought this coin, I bought it at the London Coin Fair. And you can go back and you can see a bunch of videos that I've put out showing this coin and asking whether it should be graded and so on. Uh, and then Numistack has sent it off for grading. We were hoping for an AU grade without basically any details and it came back as an MS grade which is fantastic. But that wasn't really the reason why I got it graded. And, um, you know, when I bought this, it was bullion. It was worth bullion plus 1%. That's pretty much it. Having an MS62 grade, no doubt, has increased its value. Uh, to what number, I don't really know. But at the same time, in a slab, it is protected. That's an important thing. It can't get damaged. It's easy for me to store. I know where it is. It's not going to get lost. It's a small coin. Um, and more importantly, when I do come to look to sell it, uh, this is very much more of a kind of coin that you could sell for a slightly higher premium than just bullion weight gold. Uh, and, you know, perhaps eBay is one of the places to look to sell this. But selling gold on eBay has always been a little bit difficult because, you know, buyers might well look to try and fleece you. And it's still a risk, even in a slab, but this really does mitigate the risk because if you were to sell it and they say, oh, you've sent me a different item than you've got listed, uh, then there is no doubt because this has got a serial number, it's got a barcode, it's been photographed by NGC, you know what it looks like um, and it's just adding that layer of protection. 
as well, it gives buyers a lot of confidence, serious buyers a lot of confidence, because they know it's real, they know it's not fake gold, there's a lot of fake gold on eBay. You know, they can look it up and they can verify it against NGC's database as well. So, you know, coming to flip it in the long term, it will hopefully be slightly easier to sell. Now, there are, you know, a lot of schools of thought about that in the UK, that it is not necessarily going to be as easy to flip because graded coins in the UK are just not, you know, really as common, say, as the US, and they are basically not seen as great things to buy. And certainly when you go to places like the London Coin Fair, you get a lot of people not very keen on basically graded coins. So uh, only time will tell, but this is a global village and, you know, we've got an international uh, world where we can just all go and, uh, you know, see what we can see and basically buy anything from anywhere. So, you know, that's the plan. Uh, so there's my MS62 1902. So, you know, graded coins, it's very much a unique market. It's very much a niche market. If you are going to get into it, you know, I really do recommend you uh, go check out Numistacker's channel. I also recommend highly that you do a lot of research on these areas yourself. Uh, and make sure you educate yourself on all of the potential issues and pitfalls that might come of it. Because let's be honest, I got probably quite lucky with both these coins. Maybe not so much with this because all of them seem to get PF70s. But you know, anything less than a 70 on this, you'll be struggling to get your money back in terms of what you've paid for grading. Uh, and on this one, it's good to get an MS rather than say a details grade. So you know, it is a bit of a lottery. You will. If you're going to do it on mass, have a lot of disappointments, and you've seen some of the coins that Numistack has sent in, where he gets very low grades and perhaps doesn't even get uh, them graded because they've got uh, details and things like that. So it's it is a very very interesting game and risky game, but at the same time very rewarding as well. So anyway, that's just my two cents on grading. I think it's uh, a pretty cool thing to do. Um, I don't think it's something that I'm going to be doing on mass with a lot of my stuff, but certainly perhaps older gold. Uh, premium type gold in the future, maybe those will be things to look to get graded. Uh, but otherwise, do let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts on these two coins. I've uh, shown them both before on the channel, but um, never sort of both together like this. So let me know your thoughts. Modern versus old, that would be very cool. As always, if you could stick a thumbs up on the video, share it around, put a like on the video, that would be very, very cool indeed. Make sure to subscribe to the channel as well so you can catch future episodes of In Focus Friday. This week it should be the Libertad. It's winning at the moment, but who knows. Uh, and then over the weekend, we'll have some updates on hopefully some nice hand poured silver. So otherwise, I just want to wish you all a fantastic week. Thank you so much for watching. And please make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.